Good day! In this video, we are looking at question 1C of the 2022 NCA Level 2 Probability Methods question. Without further ado, let's try to solve the problem. Suzanne lives with a family of three children and a partner, so there are five of them. She is conscious of water-saving efforts suggested by the council and so encourage her family to have shorter showers. Suzanne read that average shower time of New Zealanders is 8 minutes with a standard deviation of 2 minutes. She timed the shower taken by her family over the next two weeks and records the results in the graph below. There's a graph there. So shower time in Susan household. So 0 to 2, there are 1 occasion. 2 to 4, 4 occasion. 4 to 6 is 7 and so forth. And the total, there are altogether 50 uh, frequencies of showers taken during the two-week period. Okay, without further ado, let's go and go up again, okay? Okay, let's do it. Okay. How do Tuzen household results compare to the normal distribution model with a mean of 8 minutes and standard deviation of 2? So the normal distribution is 8 minutes in SD of 2. You should discuss at least two of the shape, center, or spread in your response. Okay, you can write as many things as you like, but we shall concentrate on two because the question asks you for two. Okay, we will talk about the center and the shape because they are the two easiest. Okay, we talk about the center first. As I said before, if you add all these numbers, they are all together 50 showers in total. So the median is in the middle there. 1 plus 4 plus 7 plus 13, there will be 25. So the middle number is going to be about 8. So the median is about 8. So it's about the same as what the original amount, which is 8. So we can say that the median or the center is about 8. So they are about the same with the original New Zealanders shower time, which is 8 minutes and standard division of 2. So to get red, you get the first point you write. And the second point we're going to talk about is the shape of the distribution. A normal distribution will look symmetrical and it's bell-shaped stuff. In our case, for Suzanne data, it looks a bit symmetrical, but it is a bit skewed to the right. Okay, if you look at the shape for Suzanne, it looks more skewed to the right rather than a normal distribution. Okay, so that is the two points we're going to talk about in order for you to get a uh, merit in this question. So if you get point one and point two right, you get a uh, merit for this question. Hope you understand what I'm talking about and hope to see you in the next video, which is question 1D of the paper. Cheers, everyone. Have a good day.